Yes. Now what we are uh, going to see in this video is Q template, a Q container in C++. And this has been declared again as a standard template library. You can uh, directly use the, you can do directly do the NQ and DQ operation. But the word NQ and DQ is not explicitly present. Instead, for NQ, it is used as push. And for DQ, that is removal of an element, we use pop. And the template uh, library which we are going to use is Q. So that is syntax of declaring a Q inside uh, after the after you include Q is Q object type and Q name. So object type is nothing but your string. What what is the type of the particular Q? What, what value you are going to push? What type of data you are going to push it in this Q? That is what here you have to give and a name for that. So some of the member functions in the queue are push. This was to insert an element in the queue. Normally the element is inserted at the back or rear of the queue. And pop removes an element from the front of the queue. So size, it returns the number of elements present in the queue. And empty checks if the queue is empty or not. Swap, it is used to swap the elements of the two queue. And front, it returns the element at the front of the queue. And back returns the element at the back of the queue. Now we will see the programming implementation of this. Here. Now. Uh, we will see that these are all the member function which we have seen in that slide which we are going we are which we are implementing in this program so here we have to include the file uh, queue header file queue then see here how you can declare you have to make keyword is queue then you have to give the template and then a variable name for this queue now you have to declare two local variable then we are getting the we, we using the See out, we give a message that you have to uh, enter into this to NQ and zero to stop. So this will what this uh, while loop will do until the user enter a zero. So whatever uh, integer he enter, it will be pushed into the start. When it come across a zero, the this while loop quits. So now you are getting the value and then you are uh, pushing it into the queue. So here inside you get the x value. The size of the queue you are printing and then the front portion front of the element and uh, the element at the back, uh, rear, or uh, printed here by using q dot front and q dot back. And then dq, that is removal of q, q ele elements from the q. Here you are, before removing anything, you have to check whether it is empty or not. If not empty, then it will keep on doing. So first you are saying that value, you from front only we can remove. So q dot front, you keep that value in a temporary variable and then you are printing because you would like to know what value we are decaying. So you are printing it on the screen and then Q dot pop. This will remove the element from this. Then the size of the Q. So after removing, we would like to verify whether Q is empty. So for that, again, we are printing uh, size by using this respective Q uh, with the dot operator and size member function. Now we'll see how it executes. So here, uh, enter integer to NQ and zero to stop. So now we stop without entering the data. Currently. Now I enter a zero. Now the size of the Q is a six elements we have entered. And the first element that entered is Q. This is the first element which you have entered. The last element is 60. So this is at the rear and this is the front. So if any element is to be removed, this will be the first one to be removed. So front of the queue is 10 and back, that is rear is 60. DQ, when I keep removing, it, uh, uh, this in this order only, that is from the front. Now after this is removed, this will be the front. 20 will be the front. After 20 is removed, 30 will be the front. So on, it will, it will remove and print the value. While, while removing, popping, it prints the value also. After removing, we check whether what is the size of the queue, which is nothing but zero.